Youngstown native Luke Wallet was on his way to playing in the NFL. The former Kent State Stars dreams were quickly squashed though after an injury led to an opioid addiction. Austin is here now with his story. Yeah, good morning, John. In one picture you can see a star athlete and a hometown hero. The other one, a heroin addict. Luke Wall was a star football player turned addict and now a survivor of one of America's biggest crisis. Luke Wallet had it all. A standout football player at Poland Seminary High School, Luke went on to play at Kent State where he was a star safety. Football was my first love. A lot of people could say it was my first drug. The NFL was in reach for Luke until he was sidelined with a knee injury his senior season. Anytime there's a problem, I just ran to football. And so now that football, in a sense, was taken away a little bit, I no longer had an answer to my problems. To numb his pain, Luke turned to pain pills. Pain pills then turned to heroin. This, isn't, this, this, this stuff doesn't discriminate against anybody. Luke's body of work in college was good enough to earn him a tryout with the New Orleans Saints. But by then, his addiction was too much to overcome. For so long, for 16 years, my dream was to play in the NFL. And just like that, it, it, it switched to a, a desire to, to seek drugs. A star in America's most beloved game quickly became part of America's biggest problem. I didn't want to live anymore. I had the mentality of I got myself into this problem, I got myself out, but, but for me, my only way out was to kill myself. Luke's story doesn't end with heroin, though. In his lowest moments, he was living in Cincinnati when his dad insisted to come visit him. Wanted to come, come down and see me and offer me help, and he didn't even know what was going on in my life at the time. And as soon as he offered it, I took it and, and I ran with it. And that's, that's where everything changed. His life didn't turn around instantly, but over time, he went to rehab for drugs and alcohol. Now, Luke is two years sober, he has dedicated his life to helping and sharing his story with those who are battling the same addiction. I want people to, to carry a little less shame, a little less guilt, and if you need help, you seek help, and for people to get a new chance of life. Growing up, Luke's addiction was football, then heroin. Now, he's addicted to sharing his story to breed hope for the hopeless. My drug is, is Jesus, really. <laughs> it really is. He, he, I, he saved my life. And Luke says that he wouldn't be here today without getting help through treatment. He encourages anyone who is struggling with addiction to reach out to him personally. His information is on our website at WKYC.com. And John, you know, I've interviewed parents and, mm -hmm. and loved ones who have lost someone. I've never interviewed someone that has actually recovered from being a heroin addict. And I right. told him that. And you can just see how thankful he was to be here and it's really just making the best of it at, right at this time. You know, right away you start thinking he lost so much. Yeah. But the important thing is he's here. Yeah. He's saving other lives now. Seriously. With what he's gone yep. through. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, powerful story. Definitely. Austin, thank you.